And Wholesome Nexus Boys Part 2 Electric Boogaloo starts. Fuck. So, we have food, so we're going to be eating while doing this. Um, Ooh, spice. What, what are we doing today? We were going to discuss tourney turnout. Oh, right. Locals. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, For those of you who do not know, when we're all in L.A. together, we go to locals at Anime Jungle in Little Tokyo. Please don't go there. It makes me feel like a wizard when I go there. Because you walk in, spend $5, and make 20 Yep. Um, Unfortunately, their tournament structure is Swiss. So if you lose once, you automatically lose your, op- your chance to get first. Not right. necessarily. If someone gets a buy, then it changes. Yeah, I also, like we're all eating different things. I'm eating the cabbage. He is a rice nut, my main dish. You're welcome. Um, what were the kind of people were there? Mm-hmm. And then one person dropped out. He dropped out the last round, though. What a fucking loser. There are two people dropped out. Jose and Jose. God, Jose sucks. I know. <laughs> I hate him. Type in Jose sucks in the comment section down below. Have you made it this far? <laughs> Me three. Um, All right. So, who did y'all play against? I want to go last, because mine were all incredible. I only played against two people, because I got the bye, so. And ah. I dropped out at the last round, so I'll go first, I guess. I love getting the bye. Mirror matches are so fun. During the bye, did you um did you fight against your inner demons? I can't drown my demons. They know how to swim. No. I didn't. Okay. Big mood. Good okay, so, like, my first round, I fought Chaos Breaker. It was my first time fighting it because, like, I hadn't gone to ter- locals in years. And holy shit, I tried playing against it by not calling anything, but no. They, for- they force called. Daily Uge. You call stuff anyway. Ask how you play the deck. Yep, but, like, uh, to ca- like to try and counter that, I was calling, um, what's it, Grizel's. Oh, so, yeah, like, yeah. the following turn, they'd have to lock from field. So she'd be targeted and then find something to try and fuel my, um... Thunderstrike, but that didn't work. The first game was okay. The second game, uh, you got slaughtered. I got slaughtered. Yeah. I watched so. the end of it. His entire field was locked, and he swung for eleven k <laughs> with his regular bank. That was my game. final turn. Yep. Because I had a, I was for, I had a force call. Something, and then I so. watched Gabe proceed to defeat someone who cheated against him. Shout out to Peter, fellas. We'll wait for my turn. Jose, would you? Who'd you play round two? Some dude named Victor. I wish I could remember his name, but I can't. Some dude named like, Victor? Who played Victor? Ocha. Okay. Yeah. Ocha's a fun guy. He's, he's such a nice guy. He's like one of the few people at that locals that I like. He's a very joyous man. And you kind of feel happy playing against him. Like, I've lost a lot. Like, I've gotten just sacked out by him several times. And I've kind of, like, lost in very well, displeasing situations. Not that losing is displeasing in and of itself, but like he always made me happy because I got to play against him and not someone else. So it's like if I were to choose someone to lose to, I would pick him. Yeah, he makes the games fun. Yeah, that too. He's cute. Ooh. He also encourages you to like if you make a mistake, he always says, like, can you take that like he he'll he'll encourage you to take back the play just so that you can have the most like optimal pl- uh, optimal card like the, the just the best card fight coming from each player. And mm. While normally, if I make a misplay, if my opponent makes a, mis- makes a misplay, I'll, like, say, like, well, that you just have to deal with that. Because, you know, that's, like... You just look down at them and say, pathetic. Well, I also look down at myself and say, pathetic. But it's, like, against him, I'll usually, like, say, no, dude, yeah, you make your best play, I'll make my best play, and we can have the most enjoyable fight we can. And I respect that. And round three was your buy, and mm-hmm. four you dropped, because, right... I was going to play against some dude at U of Seven Cs, but I really didn't want to play anymore. That's valid. Because it was best of three, and, like, I was already burnt out. Vanguard, um, in its current state, should not be best of three. Go back to when Legion was best of three. Oh, yeah, we saw Neji again. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised I didn't play him. Oh, yeah. Now, like, I'm starting years. to think that Koala just put me against him, like, every time. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't play Miles round two. 
Gabe and I always play round two. We win round one and then play round two. But and I curb stomp you. We played in finals. Yeah. And you didn't curb stomp me. Uh, okay, well, game you two. You curb stomped me game two. Yeah. No. And I curb stomped you game one. It wasn't really a curb stomp. No. It was just a very, like... Or like I never had like game no game. What was it? Curb stomp because I was at four damage when I rode to grade three. That's true, actually. Um, but that's later. You you do your vocal report. Okay, round one. I fought our boy Ocha. He was using Victor, and um, I regret to say that on my ball. first stride. It's a donut. Shit. And I regret to say that my first stride. He was at three damage. And it was on split Pegasus, like definitely a sauce. No, that that isn't what happened. I used gear. Get him a sauce. Uh huh. I used gear and X here. They're taped together, so you're gonna have to like do your thing. Um, it does. The G unit does not matter. He was at three damage, and I double critted him, so game. He didn't heal, and we kind of laughed it off. That's another thing I like. He doesn't get too salty, um, which kind of makes me like not want to get salty either, because it's like, wow, this guy is such an honorable yeah, he's man. Like so. I he wouldn't follow that. He has too. an infectious personality. Uh, yeah, basically. So he's like Robert. Yeah. Yeah. But Asian, right? Robert's Robert has Asian in him. I yeah, think. he's half Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Uh. Shout out to Robert. So we played game two. I knocked him to three damage. And then I strode. No, no, no! I didn't even stride. I just swung with grade three, and as is tradition. I double critted him again. So both games back to back, both rounds back to back, I beat him by double critting him at three damage and he didn't heal. So Ocha, I'm sorry, but I'm glad we got to fight. Does he subscribe to us? Cause he I hope so. Yeah. Also, he said that he's going to make a channel, so I'm going to talk to him and shout it out on here because the man deserves the credit. I um, love him. We don't shout out unless the content's good. He's yeah, a good boy, so but his content is His awesome. content as a character is good. There you go. Gross. Um, so there's that. Then round two, um, oh, and I had to wait like 20 minutes for round two because I finished so early. Then round two, I played against, what did I play against? I'm forgetting. Because round three, I played against, um, that deck. Spikes. Yeah. Um, I want them to, it's a secret! You ruined it! Good. Um. You can't be happy. Fuck, what did I play against round two? Uh, let's see, what, it's, was it, did you, you didn't play against Jose, did you? No. Wait. Mm. Oh, I played against Nubatama, it's a guy who subscribed to us. Um, right, that guy. Yeah, that, I, I beat him 2-0, and like, I talked to him, he said he was pretty tired, and like, not in the best mindset, but there were a lot of moments where like, he was swinging for like 11 or 15, just short of 16k to my vanguard that had a trigger powered up on it. And he kind of whiffed it when he could have swung at a rear guard to maybe actually use up resources. Granted, I still could, I still would have like dropped the resource to protect the units because they were important. And I still would have won because it would have been the same outcome. But like, I just never really felt too pressured. It was like, it was both fights were pretty easy through and through. Um, Dominate isn't as scary as I thought it was, even even with Rene. But I was in a situation where I had so many triggers in my hand that I would just call them and whiff the dominate attacks. And then when it came down to Rene's domination and putting you know the fifteen k in crit on them, um, I just I I called triggers. So yeah, you're dropping ten k shield, but I called them and I I had more triggers again. I had a lot, and I just kept dropping 10k's to protect myself and then i was fine and because i kept a low damage count i safely took the vanguard and rear guard and nothing happened thrilling yeah it overall was pretty easy second i mean third game third round i played against spike brothers and it was the deck that's solely based on reaching gb8 hellheart 8 turbo and i had never fought against it before Crazy eight. so game one Lady was like diamond. meh I, th I had the advantage the entire time diamond, and then i beat diamond. him and then game two, he G guarded with a lot. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, that's over guarding, but he's probably doing something or other. Um, and then he drops out the, he drops down the GB8. I'm like, okay, what's going to happen to me now? And I read it skill. First off, I misread it. And I read, um, 
I thought it said when this unit attacks, give the unit ten, ten give a unit ten k and a skill, but I yeah. didn't know what it is when a unit attacks. Yeah. So I thought I was like that's really underwhelming, and I have two, three, P I have four PGs in hand and like a G guardian or two, so I'll be fine. I wasn't fine. I went from two to five to six damage in the turn and lost, obviously. Um, then the second game, he does the same combo, but he only had like four cards in hand or something after t uh, triple drive. So he had very little resources to work with, and he only had one counter blast to pull off combos. So I barely survived. I had like two cards in hand, and then I just went into um, oh, he had no cards in hand after that, so I just went into gear uh, uh, Chrono Dragon next stage. That's not the right name. Uh, gear next, and I kind of just poked him with my rear guard, and he lost. Um, but so two one Kenneth, good deck. Um, proving it, proving that spikes are still viable to an extent. Spikes are honestly just the best rogue deck. Exactly. Yeah, it's true. That that that. If you want to argue that there are like good rogue decks in Vanguard, then you use spikes as a prime example. Mm -hmm. Um, not your shitty Ripple Maelstrom Thavus combo. That there's no combos in the deck. Exactly. You Good kill. point. Um, hey man, Ripples give you ride consistency. <laughs> Same. Yeah, that's all they give you. You know what they don't give you? A grade three that does something, especially when all you do is ride Maelstrom or Thavus, and then don't use their skills. Right. Um. This looks great. Uh, and then yeah, game four, um, for the first time in man. a while, I, I fought, I almost said I ate, you can do that later, Big mood. I, uh, fought against Gabe, game one, he saw, like, a trigger in the entire game, and got to four damage before he rode to grade three. Let me do the rest of it, I want to, cause I was in that game. Yeah. So I want to do a summer reporting of it. Uh, game I'll, one, I'll give, like, the gist of it. Game, game one, two. Game two, he throttled me. Yeah. Um, game four was it was pretty. It was, game three, game three. Game three, I'm sorry, it was pretty. It, it was pretty even, but like I always had the edge. You like, had, you had, you were like, you were always just a, like slightly above me in terms of like resources. Yeah, I was never um like scared of losing. That I game. think what I should have done was um, because like yeah, like same for me here. I just had like I had plenty of PGs at the right time, and I had like my G guardians. But I think what I should have done was. Rather than trying to guard against your attacks, I should have prevented you from plussing by, like, using head around on Inez or something. Yeah, maybe. Um, I think I, I just, care. I think I could have given it a little bit more thought, but overall I'd say that I played well in that last mm. game. Like, I did what I could. Game one, I played against Great Nature, and the deck, like, gave me aids. The more cards played, I was like, just, just why? I'm 90% sure there was no Crown Tiger. Um, I don't think he runs it. Oh no, he doesn't. I beat him one time, and he's like, if I had Crown Tiger, I would have done better. I'm like, I remember you saying that. Well, you don't. That's, that like, was a dude. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm like, well, one, you don't. Two, stop being a dumbass. You have a job. Go buy them. Three, get better. Big mood. Um, that happened. Um, I I played Neo Nectar, so I had a bunch of Enes plays. So I and recycling PG, so I never felt threatened. Uh, that'll hit me, and I had a G guard game one, so GB four second stride. Um, I'm ninety. Those PGs you can recycle on your on your opponent's turn are awesome. Real. Um, I'm ninety percent sure he cheated, cause um, he used two G guards early on. One was the G flip, so he had three face up G units. Then he guarded with two heels raw. Like I'm, I'm, I'm ninety percent sure he just used heels as guardians, and then next turn he used G guards, and I'm like, that doesn't seem right. And when I checked drop zone, the heels, like, weren't at the bottom where they should have been when he G-guarded earlier. So, I'm pretty sure he cheated. And also, almost a year ago, he cheated against me, where we were in our, like, shuffling phase of the, um, redraw. And he was just kind of, like, looking up absentmindedly. He looked really dumb. Um, and I saw him slowly move a card from his deck down to his hand, and I... I got a little cocky and was like, I can beat this guy anyway. So I said, I was like, oh, sorry, you dropped a card. He's like, huh? Wait, what? Whoa, what? And then he just picked it up and shuffled it back to him. I'm like, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, game two was grade lock, so I kind of throttled him. 
Who was great like a grade one and new rulings allow you to stride against them. Also, he didn't know how to play grade luck because he called the Margol crit and used its skill when numbers didn't change, so he just negged 20 k mm -hmm. So that was easy. Game two, I played against Hellhard 8. I won, oh, I won that first one too. I won game round two, 2-0, two -oh, because um, um, I played against a guy a couple weeks ago, so I knew actually how to play against the deck. So I converted BG's. I kept him at low GB. Like, I would push him to five, and if I knew he had heals, I would stop attacking, no matter how big my columns were, because if he used G guards, he would have gotten into GB8. So I just kept him at five, and since he searched heals, there were no heals in deck. He didn't heal on his next turn, so I just ripped to shreds his hand. So he either won or GB8 did nothing. So he did not use the GB8 against me in any game. Ah. Uh, so when you say, like, slowly push him to five, you mean kind of just attack with your Vanguard and that was it? No, I mean, um, when I say that, I mean, I would try... I'm trying to figure out how the word is. Not slowly, but, like, I would get him to five, mm -hmm. but I would also, like... I stopped attacking when he was at 5 and I knew he had heals, because yeah. I didn't want to give him GBA. Because my issue was, like, well, one for starters, I didn't think about that, but he, like, the moment he rode to grade 3, or the moment he had it in hand, he would use Jelly Beans. Yeah. So he would already have at least two heals. Um, heal triggers, because yeah. Jelly Beans and Mecha Trainer, so he was basically set. Yeah, he doubled Jelly Beans me one time, yeah, and same. that's why I kept him at five. Because he was at three, I think, at the start of that turn. Mm -hmm. I would keep him. I would push. I would stop him at five at first stride. Yeah. Because then he didn't really have G guard set up, so I pushed him to five. I had. I was at G before. I think at one point. So I, my two were like pretty big with crits, but I was so sure he had two heals to get to GB8. I just stopped attacking, which was the right play because he went into um that one thing from set ten. That's like buying things and then call them back. Egregious or something. I don't fucking know. The red, I know the, you're the red boy. Yeah. Um, so I made this meal 10 out of 10. Me too. He, okay. So he did that, and then I just went and developed me the next turn and just destroyed him mm -hmm. because I just beat big boys into it. So I know how to play against that deck now. That was fun. Game three, I played against Chaos with Asha. It's, uh, it's really fun. Because, like, you kind of need to think about what you're doing, like, what you're going to call as luck, because you're going to put it back with Blue Asha. So it is kind of interactive in that way, because, like, you, your opponent doesn't necessarily say fuck you by locking They've stuff. said interactive. Now the entire game is an interactive card game, right? You're right. So that was fun. Um, I won because I kind of grinded... You're moving Rebellion in the comments. Three. I, um... What the fuck? What well, the fuck is that? Anyways, so, I, uh, I just... I ground out the game, so I, I didn't win by deck out, but if I didn't, I definitely would have, because um, I had resources in hand, because it's Chaos Breaker, it doesn't really push, so I had PG's. Until they hit glue ball, but even then, you kind of got to stall out for it. The only push it really has is fucking Stark. Um, oh, yeah. So, I just gra so even if I didn't win, I definitely would have decked him out, just because I can keep putting shit back into my deck, which he can't. And there's also the thing that's like move to soul soul charge to and flip to which he used two or three times. Mm -hmm. So it was definitely like a, a back and forth, but I never felt like concerned that I wouldn't win. So I won. Game two, he was gray locked at one and he stayed at one instead of G assisting. Which honestly, I think because of new stride rulings, you should just be G assisting no matter what, just yeah. so you don't fucking get that far behind. Because when he rode to grade two, I was already on three for a turn, so I just strode and beat the shit out of him. Game four was Miles. Um, game one, so that was the last round of the tournament, and I knew we were both like gonna win. So it was like I kind of just wanted to leave and ask to split the prize. But I had to be that person. He had to be that person and not let me have my fun. So I kind of stopped caring. Game one, I don't know. I I definitely didn't try, but I also probably would have lost anyways just because of how triggers worked. So I still lost. It's whatever. Game two. First drive, drive check, uh, three Rochelle, so she's the broken critical, um, so pushed him from two to four and I won. Um, game three, it was like, it was pretty back and forth, but I had my crits to stop him, and that's how I won and magically made $20. So that's all for tournament report, right? Yeah. Can we talk about that one cringy ass weeaboo? Fellas, if you're hanging out at your locals... And you play children's card games. Shower. And you wear Naruto-related accessories or any 
fucking weeaboo merch, stop. for that matter. Stop. We'll stop wearing that, yeah. Don't brag about your sex life and then proceed to diss feminists and someone who is sitting adjacent to you at the table. What a cunt. It doesn't matter who they are, just be a decent person. Self-awareness is important. Weeaboos don't have it, so please learn. I As... As a recovering weeaboo. As a recovered weeaboo. Self-awareness is hard. True. But it's he not impossible to obtain. greasy as fuck. Looks like he didn't shower before coming. Like, holy He's talking about going to um, a, goth, a club. goth club. So that's already a problem in and of itself. If you Don't call yourself as, a goth. Call yourself an emo. As my, fr- as my, fr- as my other friend Gabe said, 2018 is no longer the year of big titty goth GS. It is the year of small titty cowgirl GS. Ew. That's disgusting. I know. That's why he's going to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I never said I agreed with it. Well, your friend's wrong. Just, just, that's it. Yeah, but, um, he got caught up on JoJo. Okay. So he's more of a weeaboo than me, so he's definitely wrong. I don't even know what you would say, Jojo. XD. There aren't enough boobs in it. Hey, Jolene is there for a season. Jolene has, like, a B cup at best. Why are we discussing this? We're not, we're, we're about as we're good as the guy of, on that table. We're making fun of weeaboos. And then Fuck we talk them. about anime titty sizes. You people discuss me. They're called anime bitties, actually. <laughs> okay, um. You got me. I, I, I have been bested. But yeah, like, please shower before going to locals. Oh, someone walked by me. He wasn't even in the tournament. But he smelled like... Shower before going outside. It was disgusting. One of the workers had to go out, get a bottle of Febreze, and spray it all over the goddamn yeah. place because he stinks so much. Yeah, it's true. He walked in, hung around for a while, kind of like stared at my game, and I'm like... Just go I'm away. like, I you can't stink, d- can you not be here? I can't hear and he your walked fumes. out. Wait, did you actually say that? No, oh, oh. god, no. If he would have, he would have thought, I would have told him to get the fuck out. Shit. He I go into all that out. effort to shower before locals. It's like, not even going into effort, it's knowing what you do normally. Yeah, if you're gonna go outside and you think you smell fine, you really fucking don't. At, at least bring deodorant like a decent human being. I know you're playing like weeaboo card games, but like... Just because Be not every, better. just because everyone else seemingly isn't doing that, doesn't mean you shouldn't also rise above. Exactly. Be better than those around you. Also, please don't be loud as fuck. Oh my god! Yes. Okay. I have, I have like thoughts about that. I do agree that overall you need to tone it the fuck down. But like, one of those situations where they were all like cackling. I feel like that was warranted because something happened that was really enjoyable to them. If that happened, that's fine. Yeah, but like, exactly. if you see a trigger, don't yell out, no, I exactly. need a trigger! Yeah, don't don't scream about everything you do. This isn't the anime. Even the um, anime doesn't do that. That's true. They only scream at critical things, pun intended. Mm-hmm. Or if they're Genma. Right. God, well, Genma's like, existence is critical. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> But, like, yeah, if like, something funny happens, or, like, a funny just like a funny situation like me and Ocho when I double when I double created him twice in a row that was fine that was funny and we were all we were both like cracking up but if you're just talking to someone don't yell across the goddamn shop you mean you can yell at them to tell them to come over to you so that you don't yell the entire time but do not yell a conversation across the shop that Especially also goes when for the, the dude. Place is fucking confined. That also goes for the dude Gabe and I had the displeasure of playing next to over a year ago, who was constantly screaming for about fifteen minutes about the Telavru Weiss deck. Oh, that guy! I forgot about that. It's guy. so cool. You can do this and these play. It was the most obnoxious shit I've had. To, I've ever had the displeasure of being around. And I work in fast food where everyone is inherently terrible. Not my coworkers. I love most of you guys. TLDR, remember that other people exist. Self awareness, just awareness. Last time, uh, there was a G's player. Mm-hmm. He obviously won every single one of his games because it's OGT. It was a uh, no CLGs. Yeah, no CLGs, right? So. Then he's like, oh, I'm never going to play this deck again, just shouting it out to the entire... I'm like, shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. Oh, okay, is he had an audience? Like, no, nobody was him? paying attention to him. Okay. Then he was just yelling at yeah. Jamaican conversation with yeah. random people. And then he's like, oh, look at that. Buddy Fight's playing such a shit game. 
Thanks, dude. And then he's like, oh, I made this deck. How do I play? I'm like, now, you can say those things, although dissing Buddy Fight is objectively incorrect, but just limit it to the people around you and keep it within, like, earshot. Not to the point that it's actually shooting out their ears, though. Big moist. Um, yeah. So we just went from local report to a basic human decency, mm -hmm. so a local report. Right. We really haven't changed the overall subject. We really haven't. Um... Because these are all things we get to deal with in our daily lives. We jammed out to Rubber Band Man on the drive. You should really listen to that True. song. Oh, also, um, don't, don't forget uh, Brains Opening 1 and 2. Game, game, I'm trying and to talk about American music. And Arc 5. Uh, dub. So, and American music. music. American music. Can you feel the power? Hey, 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 hey. It's me, um, you, I don't like your girlfriend. I hate that song so much. These, these two <laughs> girls in my Japanese class would start singing that, like, at least once That's a when week. That's when you yell at them in Japanese to stop. Yamate. Urusai. Yamate Yugi. Um, I'm sorry, but you're bothering me. I really should have said that. Ariga, thanks. Ari gracias. Ari gracias. <laughs> no, man, it's all about Ariga tortilla. <laughs> we need a petition to bring to make an English version of Amigo and Buddy Fight. I, got, I love Amigo to cut him more than I hate myself. Like, like the the, the, the self hatred of yourself is inversely proportional to the love for Amigo to cut him. No, I love my I love him more than I hate myself. Oh, more okay. So my self loathing is like a negative ten. My love for him is a positive thirty. Right, right, right. Only a thirty. Those are those are rookie numbers. Remember, these numbers are arbitrary. I was just numbers to explain. I haven't like mathematically broken it down. Game. Eat my ass. Like I said to the three people who got triggered on my Facebook post that PUBG and Fortnite are bad games, which they are. It's just a joke. Miles. Yeah. I don't need that shit from somebody who came in third. Mm, you're right. I should have done better than um, the guy who I didn't play. Let's, this, but... Now back yeah. on the PUBG subject. If you need, if you feel the need to. Flex on people for paying thirty dollars for an incomplete game. That is fucking sad. Play Monster Hunter World. That's a complete game, and it only costs like incomplete game. I meant. I know. I'm just saying, like Monster Hunter World is actually complete and yeah. better, and deserves the attention. Just play D and D. It's free. Mm. That too. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. Um, we're all fucking losers, aren't we? Yeah. Well, we're losers outside of our community. Inside our community, we kind of are. We have eight thousand four hundred and twenty subscribers. We make money off of. We have self awareness. We're uh, not. For the most part, we have not. more than the other people we hang out That's with. That's true. I did consider walking up to a redheaded girl the other day and just say, "Red's my favorite color." And then she slaps you. Yeah, and that's no. why Jordan was gonna back me up by slapping her afterwards. <laughs> no, dude. That's Jordan is my stand. I want to meet this Jordan. Is he a punch ghost? Huh? Is he a punch ghost? He's a punch ghosty. A punchy ghosty. Fuck. Yo, yo, ghosty boat. Go shout out to that guy. Yo, yo, ghosty boat made my life better. Again, he was someone who ran in marathons. Yet we finished before him and everything. Who? You. you. I haven't ran in a marathon before. Marathons suck. But you run. As mm. a, as I a, ran. I ran. I'm retired. I never run. I don't exercise. I just kind of roll around. God. Until he burns enough calories. <laughs> True. That's how I stay thin. Just rolling around on the floor? Yeah. You roll around for about like 30 minutes to an hour every day. Yeah. Oh, like 10. I literally burn the fat off. Mm -hmm. Like friction against the rug. Exactly. Yeah. That rug burn must feel nice. Mm. Yeah. It's like the warm it's like the warm um comfort of a of a of a mother, but you know Carpeting. Or, or hardwood. Carpet. Yeah. Like a mother. It's about as comforting as my mother. That's yeah. It's okay, Gib. She'll come back. <laughs> She's over there. Hi. Um what uh, other content? Uh Well I mean we did breach the ten minute mark, so Okay. Well let's breach the fucking thirty minute Yeah, no, we did thirty we gotta keep going for at least uh. another minute and a half. Um, st ugh, sorry, Standard is coming out soon. Standard's lit. I'm excited for it to be meta. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of you. Because there's a... Four decks. Yeah, so by default, I'm already at the top three. 
Not by default. Because Royals are obviously at the last, so. Rip Richards. If you're running no Richards Richard spent running the, the most and he's getting the least. <laughs> No, he's getting the least meta, but he, he is actually getting the most. Yeah. Because, you know, I am R. So you, you can sell hey, it. If any, That's if it's, but those aren't guaranteed, unfortunately. Right. It's just kind of dumb that they don't do one of each per case. Yeah. Um. So somebody could theoretically... theoretically I probably which could won't be, a, be here for the case split because I'm going to go to Texas for a week. Oh! Any of y'all live in Texas? I'm going to Houston for a week on the 17th. Please don't talk to him. No, you, they don't, you don't need to talk to me. In fact... Don't. I encourage you not to, um, for your own benefit. Um, but hit me up with your locals, because I'll be there for a whole week and don't want to spend every waking moment. Can I join you, Miles? Families. Road sure. trip. Yeah, let's do a re- Nexus road trip. I refuse to set foot in Texas. Why? Because if I step oh, outside, values. If I step outside, I'll just light on fire. Oh, and it's really hot. Yeah. Really hot Republican straight. It's a Republican. Uh huh. Hey not. now. Um, I'll survive. We're all bisexual here. No need to. True. There's the non the the straights none. Have, it's ju- it's Pride Month. The hetero being a heterosexual is illegal right now. Well, so, you can go there and like eliminate like eighty percent of the population. I mean, I'm assuming that like it was already eliminated. Game. I don't do that work Game. myself. I'll get my feet dirty. Do what L three would do and start a rebellion. She would want this. Fuck. Just run around wearing like. A like, black KKK mask. <laughs> What's the opposite gonna, of a uh, I was going to say, like, a rainbow man thong or something like that, and just scream out, Rebellion! K is the 11th letter in the alphabet. So, 22nd. So 15. 15? Back going okay. backwards. So, 11 this way, 11 this way. So, K-L-M-N-O. I think O-O-O. Child, things are gonna get easier. That song lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling so attacked right now. Maybe, wait, no, it says ooh, child. So maybe when you're a child, it gets easier, but the moment you become an adult, it becomes garbage. But I play children's card games. But you're not their We're child. We're mentally child. No! Oh, God. Oh, fuck. There's no hope for me now. There never was hope for you. Well, back when I was a child, I thought there was. Did you, though? Yeah. Did you? Yes. Just, just look deep inside. I, I did. Your, search your feelings. You know it to be false. Okay. Rip. Um. Good God. This wasn't wholesome. Gabe and I, I mean, watched Solo. It's a really good film. You should watch it. I didn't watch it because I have no interest in Han Solo. If you think Solo is bad because it isn't a part of the mainline trilogy, you're the wrong. original trilogy, right. you're wrong and you need to shut the fuck up. I hate the Star Wars fandom. Also, Lando Calrissian being pansexual isn't bad, and it's also they never not a retcon. They said his sexuality in the original trilogy, so... Exactly, so it's not a retcon. But Herder, my my assumed heterosexuality, the gays and their uh, gay agenda soy boys... It's Pride Month, just let the soy boys out of their way. <laughs> I don't like soy. No one does. I, I like soy to... sauce. That's true. I used to only drink soy milk, but then I realized that, like... That's vegan and that's some weak shit. True. So I decided to switch over to the real man's beverage and now I drink milk. If your meal doesn't at least have animal piss on it, it's vegan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you if you don't if you drink any coffee other than black, you're weak also. Sorry. Same. I like my coffee to not taste He's like, like coffee because I love myself. You gotta, mood. you gotta drink the black coffee because then you know when the good times are. Hos- Miles, remember, Jose and I are trying to not hate ourselves. It's not self hatred. It's yes, that it I love is. myself, so I proceed to strengthen myself. That's not how it works. I'm stronger. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, you guys, you guys are just denying it because I have what you are thinking you're achieving. Nay, the. Yes. But I actually won a Vanguard tournament, so... I'm proud of you. So I guess I'm stronger than you. you know, Apparently you're, so. You know, Chris, tier 1.23. Yeah. I Is mean, it... I would say one point tier. I one mean, point tier, One yeah. point tier, yeah. They are the tier. As in, they made you cry, like, for, like, three Their years. Their economy is 3.14. Only three years. I cried the moment I picked that deck up. Because then I learned what oppression was going to feel like. But then, like, Arboros came in, you kind of cried with, like, I love happiness. how much uh, she's... Uh, and that went downhill from there. Neonefter. Huh? How much he's topped with Neonefter, like... I know. 
He topped with it almost Nazi. every time at uh Not even top, it's anime. a win. <laughs> he won with Neo Nectar so many times a power anime. We need to step up our game. Why are all of my Axel locals teach garbage? Us. And then people would get salty at him. I think it was just Ben. Or was it anybody else? No, there are other people yeah. who will get salty just for the general like loss. Yeah. But I mean, I mean Ben because he specifically targeted Neo Nectar. That it wasn't, no, 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 that's actually not true, because as someone who hung out with him more... You told, you were the one that told me this! But it wasn't exclusively Neo Nectar. It was I just everything told you that, that he just, lost against. I just told I, you that. I'm sorry yeah. about, like... Okay, no, this is not to shit-talk a person currently, this is to discuss what someone's opinions were several years ago. And because that was several years ago, no, we are no longer dissing who they are now, because that isn't who they are now. Presumably. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, hopefully, you know... Everyone isn't who they were several years ago, provided they were a bad person back then. Hopefully, everyone's improved. Yes. Yeah. Are you going to keep talking? You you were going to you were going to say something. You were. Oh talking no! It about... was like right. So it wasn't exclusively Neo Nectar. I just told you that it was Neo Nectar because it was the only deck he dissed that was that that you used. There was also Majesty Lord Blaster. Um, no, Rukami, whenever I no, do a trigger. To be fair, about MLB at least back then it was. Okay. I almost never struggled against it, and I was bad back then. It was the power ammo. It was so were the people there. Pan. Yeah, but like I was... only I think the only good player that used it was Andrew. Did yeah. He use MLB? Yeah, I remember he used it against me at um. Well, we were doing the first team league. Well, Trace used huh. it. He topped in a tournament, um, and then his deck got stolen. But, good. You know. Fuck Trace. <laughs> That's what happens when you decide to be racist five years later. Yeah. They went. <laughs> The person that stole it was just ahead of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> now, while I say you can't diss someone for who they are, you can't diss someone now for who they were several years ago. You can diss someone for who they were several years ago because of who they are now. Kids, don't be racist, especially when you think that admitting you're being racist is a justification. And everybody that he was racist to Mexicans specifically. When most of his friends are fucking... Most of our community and Latino. most of the people we interact with are Latino, yeah. Like, but it's okay because they're my friends, It's right? we have fucking self-awareness. That's a... Self-awareness, that's... Another that's long-haired, it. greasy fuck. Lo- <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Not, yeah. I wouldn't say greasy. No, he's not long-haired, he's just a trap. XD! <laughs> <laughs> no, because you actually want to fuck traps. I don't. Traps are gay. Miles, we're gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Hey, this is Pride Month, right? I will make an exception and say I want to fuck a trap. Okay. Yeah, but the moment it becomes right. June 1st, midnight, <laughs> July, July 1st, first, July yeah. 1st, midnight, oh, traps are gay. Exactly. Okay, so so traps aren't gay during Pride Month only. There we go. Real. Gabe, stop masturbating. Don't tell me what to do. This is my house. God. I like how we went from talking about locals to talking about traps. <laughs> Oh, that's wholesome content. <laughs> hey man, traps are wholesome. They have the whole deal. They've got the whole sum. Can you stop? Dicks and females. Why are you like this? We love chicks with stop. dicks. We, we love, love chicks, chicks with dicks. With dicks. <laughs> we love... Okay, koala. <laughs> okay, Does that apply? That's, he's the one that told me that phrase. Oh, I thought Jose would just chant out whenever he wrote Neobium. Because Neobium. Neobium has like it's it's no, the gray, what it, what it's do? the gray two nine k starvator the two k every time of that it. child but yeah, like the bear boy it has it has boobs right I think so I th- it's that we we couldn't tell so every time Jose wrote it or called it he would just try to we love chicks with dicks gross oh, God, I miss a, ninth grade I'm that's sorry so no you don't need to apologize because unlike you I actually had a good early um early experience in high school. Oh, I had a good time. It was just cringy, and I, in retrospect, it sucked. In retrospect, like, who I... Well, not not necessarily who I was, but, like, some of the things I said were cringy, or yes. rather the way I acted. But Same. overall, I would, like... I, I just... It was so fun. Pe- I was surrounded with so many good people. Some people weren't racist yet, you know? We were just living in this happy little bubble. True. It, we, it, it was before mm-hmm. the illusion broke. Exactly. It was before Trump became president. That, too. We had Obama for three, four more years. I miss you, Dad. Uh, he surely made the imperialism go down smooth. 
Oh, we li- Why didn't he we just stop get- keep electing him president like we did to Chancellor Palpatine? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I didn't vote for him. Why don't we just make him the Senate? He, but he is the Senate. Exactly. Uh, just like Chancellor Palpatine. I'm ending this. It's been 39 minutes. Man, we didn't get enough wholesome content. Good. What was the well, hashtag? Tra- huh? What was the hashtag from the beginning that you wanted to put down? Can't remember. Well, hashtag self awareness. Hashtag self awareness. Bye bye. Happy Pride.